Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it's about the bloom effect, which I believe you could basically describe as lacing because um, you blow it out and it does lacing as if you would swipe it. It's similar, it is air related, but in general um, it seems to also be a big um, thing about mixing ratios and brand or paint type. So I want to try four different things because Perhaps you don't have the one or the other. In general, it seems that the Amsterdam acrylics work the best in titanium white. I don't have titanium white. I have a zinc white. The difference is one is opaque, one is transparent. Then I want to take a titanium white, which is opaque, then, but I have it from Windsor and Newton. Then I have a titanium white from a relatively inexpensive brand that we get in Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, I guess. Um, so I want to see what that does. And I have the Valeo fluid acrylics, which are similar a bit to the, to the golden. The mixing ratio is one spoon of paint and two, three quarters of Floetrol. This lets it be really, really thick, which is uh, a little bit worrying for me, but this is what I read up on. And I, which makes, of course, the different brands a little bit different in consistency. For example, the Winter Newton is really, really thick. Uh, this is the, the, this inexpensive brand is really creamy, so already a little bit thinner. That also is uh, the quality difference. And of course, an, uh, a fluid acrylic is already a little, little bit liquidy. So I put already a, a base on it. So these are little coasters. I'm going to use three different colors, um, a metallic blue, a uh, magenta, and a little bit of gold. You should always have colors that go well together and don't make mud. So I'm going to put them on there and then I'm going to put the, the white and blow it out. For blowing it out, I'm eventually going to pick it up. So then you have my head in the picture, but I hope you don't mind so much because I wanted to um, film it in this angle or, or better from over my shoulder because if I put the camera um, at the opposite side, I don't think you can see a lot. Okay, let's give it a go.
Okay, so what you saw now already that this is relatively okay to apply this also because this is thinner, the creamier thing. But these two are really difficult to get on there because they're that thick. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, but that's just a fact. If you do an experiment, you need to keep the, the same factors for, for everyone. And um, I'm going to blow on it now. Let's see. Okay, so for now it's already really, really difficult to blow this out at all. So I'm really out of breath. This looks really good actually, and this of course also. I'm gonna now tilt it a bit. Okay, so it does surprise me a little bit, I have to say, but from the logical point of view, I think it's simply that this is too thick. I mean, when I tilt it, you see the underlying colors start to move, but the top is just stuck. So also when you tilt it, you always have like a blob that really is hard to move. I even tried to blow it out a little bit more. It gives some of them have nice effects, but it's not necessarily the typical spider web uh, bloom effect. So um, perhaps that's really not the right ratio. So I would need to try again with thinner. But perhaps we really the magic is in the Amsterdam acrylic titanium white. Who knows? I'm going to get some, I guess. And then I'm going to let you know. I hope you liked it. It's cool effects. Can't uh, say anything about that. And I hope to see you back soon.